Hello and welcome back to another Psh, I can make that. So today I was searching through the pottery barn and I was just looking for maybe some Halloween ideas and I came across this pillow. And although I've seen that pillow many times, I saw the cat pillow and decided I can make that. So I ordered some pillow covers off of eBay for $1.99 and I got some fabric paint and this is how I did it. So I first shaved down a piece of chalk to make a pointy end and this is what I'm going to be using to draw out my cat first. Um, if you use anything else then it could possibly stay forever so the chalk shows up really well on the black cover and um, it wipes off very easily. So it took me a little bit of time because I, you know, wanted to make sure that everything was nicely symmetrical. So if you just take your time and just, you know, call it as a little art project, you can do a really good job. So after that, I grabbed my paint and this is actually a dimensional paint that I got at Walmart. So it actually like, you know, dries raised. So you'll be able to feel it. It's almost like plasticky but it's not really a pillow that I'm going to be using to sleep on, so I didn't mind using this. So I have my yellow for the eyes, and if you've ever seen like cookie videos where they're putting the royal icing on top of the cookie, you're basically gonna outline and then flood it and then use your um, toothpick or the end of a paintbrush to just fill in all the little spots. And I just use some black to um, accentuate the eyes for the iris, of course, and for the contours of the nose. And now I'm going to use the white, and that is going to be for the nose and the whiskers. So this stuff says it takes about four hours to dry, but if you're going to be flooding it, then it takes way longer. I'm gonna say like two to three days actually. It took about a day to like overnight to for like the lines to dry, but like the pool, like the flooding was really like there's a lot on there. So it took a while, so make sure if you do have a cat or something that could jump onto this and want to take a nap that it's um, protected. <laughs> so here it is, and I think it turned out really great. And since I was already in the swing of doing a pillowcase, I decided to make another one. I bought two just in case I screwed up and I had the white paint. So I thought, why not make the spiderweb one? So of course I did the exact same thing. I used my chalk and I'm just going to draw out the, um, the web, but not the whole entire thing. So I'm just gonna draw the lines. If you want your web to be right in the center, then of course start from the very middle. But if you want it to be offset a little bit, then you're gonna just move that over to the corner, like over towards the corner and start drawing your lines out. These lines are just a guide, but when I start to do the in-between lines, I'm just going to freehand that. So I just took my white paint and drew out all the lines first. This is a little bit tricky because when you do get all those lines out, you have to be very careful. You have to keep your arm raised up. Don't accidentally rest it down because of course you'll put your arm in the paint. So um, after a while, your arm gets kind of tired, but you know, if you want, you could do this part first, let it dry and then do the next part. So I'm just going to continue on doing that. And then I'm going to start doing the center. And if you've ever drawn a spider web, then, I mean, you know, this, this is easy stuff. I did this stuff in elementary school. So I'm just gonna do all the way around, kind of doing like a little U shape between the two strands. So you go all the way around the whole entire circle and then you're basically done. So for very little money, you know, $2 for the pillowcase cover, you can get the inserts for two bucks at Ikea and then the paints about like five bucks a bottle and you can make a couple at the same time. I think this turned out to be a success considering one pillow is like 32 bucks. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Share with your friends if you did. Like, comment, subscribe so I know that you enjoy these videos and you want to see more. And thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!